Hey guys, what's up? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Guess what's about to happen? I'm gonna finish the GTM. Got everything pretty much ready to roll. All the components. It's been forever. I've been working on something else that I finally finished up. So this thing's been sitting and waiting. Bunch of parts stacked up. A lot of this stuff I'm not going to use anymore. None of that. <clears throat> Um, I will be using this. So yeah, if you remember a year or so ago, I've done a lot of prep work. Relocated. Relocated the blow off valve actuator so I could fit this great big old mammoth intake on here. And what else did I do to this thing? Get a light set up here. So I put a couple tanks. One on each side for the um, air to water intercooler. And each one has a fan on it. All the wiring's been done, all the plumbing's been done, that stuff's all done. And hopefully there will be enough airflow through there. <clears throat> Keep the stuff cool enough. I made it great for rocks. And right here's the pump. It's all wired up. Got a switch. Ready for it. And I had to change the harness bar for the um, the seat belts, the harnesses. That stuff's been done. It all looks a mess right now. Got a new headliner in there. New backup reverse mirror. Gonna be a camera. It's been so damn long I don't remember what I've done. Here's the motor. Fully built. Ready for the blower. <clears throat> I just got done draining the oil out of it. I got it rigged up so I'm blowing oil in it, pressurized. And it's right there before the um, pushes against the oil pump and then right down through the filter and then through the motor so it gets motor clear up to the valves everywhere once that gets mostly done like three quarters of the way done I start to bar the, the engine over 
turn it over a few times and I do that once a month or so. Uh, here is the sequential shift. So everything's kind of been mocked up the blower. Um, the belts. But what hasn't been mocked up is the transmission. I'll have to do a few things and um, have to make some shifting cables. And mount a shifter. Inside there, <clears throat> there's the starter and the clutch. There's the, the harness bars that I made. I had to slice that off. So each side will have its own harness bar. There's the massive wing. I love the wing. Here's the um, the waterfall that I had to cut apart and redo. That little mound on top there is what goes around the pulleys for the blower. Here's the tensioner for the blower. Motor mounts other odds and ends this stuff will not be used anymore this breather system won't be used anymore i'm going to use the motion race works breather system and the motion race works valve covers And this looks real pretty right here, but it's not going to work for me. The blower is going to be in the way. I had it set up before it was venting just off the two of these. I'd like to vent all four corners. So more than likely, I'm going to redo some piping. Kind of use this system with some new pipes. And bend them around out of the way. The blower. thing's going to be badass for sure. Here's the plate which will mount that sequential to the LS motor. Um, <clears throat> here's the shifter light. Tells you which gear you're in, the indicator. And I'm, I want to mount this thing somewhere, obviously, but I'm trying to figure out if I can get it apart. I don't know how they put it together. I took the screws off, and you'd think it would come apart, but it must be glued or something. But I'd like to deface that thing and mount it somewhere in the dash, kind of like I did all that crap. Right there's where my tablet goes. Oh, by the way, that rear view is a camera. So it's a high def uh, camera. So I'll have a much better rear view. Because I'm not going to be able to see through the back anymore. Because <clears throat> there's going to be a blower sitting right there. Here is the new firewall with the hole cut out used to be a mirror, I mean a glass, all the way down. And you can see out in the back, not too bad. But down that's going to be covered up with blower. And I got a couple of little port windows. You can monitor what's going on in the engine bay. You know, if you see smoke or flames, it's kind of nice to be able to pull over. And what else? <clears throat> oh, right now I'm working on the fuel system. Which is going to sit right down in there. 
gets an upgraded pump, huge fuel pump, huge lines, huge feed lines, each um, each side of the motor is going to get its own feed. And um, the thing's got the capacity for some high horsepower. And that's what I was doing at the very end when I quit working on it a year or so ago. I was figuring out where to mount this stuff. I want to keep that pump low. Last time I had it up here, bolted to this thing. And when the tank gets low on fuel, sometimes it had a hard time um, priming the pump. Kind of leave you stranded there for a little bit sometimes. So I want to keep this thing low um, to the bottom of the tank this time. You know, I could fit that up here somewhere easy. But, I think it'll be more reliable hanging down low. It's harder to um, configure down here because there's no room. But again, I feel like it's kind of a must. <clears throat> now another thing, putting it down low, the header pipe is right there. So I'm going to have to build a special heat shield. And insulate that from the header pipe. And still let airflow go through there. So I don't want to box it in completely. Um, and then... Once I mount that, I have to do the return so it gets a different um, regulator. So there's two feeds coming from each injector. I forget what you call that thing. So that's going to be changed. This stuff sitting over here. Got all kinds of fittings. Got one coming in from each side. And then down to the tank. <clears throat> and I had to take those tanks out of there. And weld a new bung in the bottom of them larger to fit the new piping size i forget what it was it was like an 8 an and now it's like a 14 something like that so that's where i'm at right now i was mounting this i had to redo the circuit i had to run a wire dedicated wire from the battery um because that pump uses way more power so i had to hook up a relay i've already tested it it's already ready to roll it's got to properly route it put my cute little wire wrap around it make it look neat <clears throat> Ah, oh, what else am I doing? Pretty much everything on the interior is done. So I think just a matter of getting the fuel system done and ready. I've got all the intercooler stuff done and ready. The only thing is when I get the motor in there, I'll finish hooking up those intercooler hoses here. 
in and out for the water. Got to get new injectors. Yeah, anyway, once I get that done, I think... It's damn near time to get the motor in here. Trying to think, that's about it. Once I get the motor set in there, get the transmission mounted, get the shifter mounted, get some cables set up for it, get the wiring done. Got to rewire a few things like the um, Oh, for the throttle. This is a different gen throttle body. So I got a schematic so I can rewire that to mine and make it work. Got to change the um, MAF sensor to a MAP sensor. This was my vacuum switch for the heat control. And since it's a blower car, I'll have to change that um, also. Because now I got boost instead of vacuum. And that's what's going on here with this stuff right here. And this thing right here. Oh, that's a vacuum pump. So I don't know if I'm going to use that thing or not. Can't wait to drive this thing again. It's going to be so damn fast. Learn how to drive it again. Yeah, I think that's about it. Get that fuel system done. <clears throat> and it's ready to get that motor in there. Yeah, figure out drive lines. Not sure if the existing drive lines will work. The axles and the CV joints were not the weak link last time. It was the Transaxle itself just had it overpowered right from the start. So this one's made for quite a bit higher horsepower. Should be good. Quite a bit of oil pumping through it so I know it's already up to the top now. So I just spin it around a bit. Go for it. Lowered the compression in it with the pistons. 
Everything's forged. Yeah, she's gonna go for it. It's gonna look good. Haven't done any of the intake. Still gotta build that. The pipe is gonna be huge. It's gonna run one single pipe instead of splitting it off. And that's about it. It's gonna be the winter project. <laughs>